Let's get a little weird. Let's get a little odd. Those sounds you like to hear. We got it going on. It's the odd cast. It's the odd cast. It's the odd cast. It's the odd cast. What's up, folks? Welcome back to the odd cast where we talk to people who are turning their passion into profession and subsequently their passion into paychecks. We're here with a very special guest tonight, my man Moss. Of What's popping? The original good stock. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Thank you. Thank you, sir. The Oddcast podcast. <laughs> for taking care of us, taking care of the bills for us. You know what I mean? We're right here at Art Hookah tonight in downtown San Diego on 6th Street. Yes, sir. Shout out to Art Hookah. Shout out to Oleg for allowing us to share the space here. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful night. So, um, I guess you know we'll kick we'll kick things off. You know, keep it keep it super simple for the first question. Uh, you know, I guess we'd like to know about the inception, kind of the beginning, the twenty thousand foot. What is first of all? What is the original good stock? You know, let everyone know and let everyone know where they can find you. We're gonna put the links in the description, obviously. Okay, heck yeah. So uh, you can find us on Instagram, original good stock. Just how I'm saying it, one word. Um, where our website's also originalgoodstock.com. Um, also Facebook, original good stock. Um, just how I'm saying it. Uh, but those are the main two platforms you'll find us on. Uh, my personal. Uh, is Maserati? Let's go. <laughs> and that's a whole other story how, of how of how I got that. Uh, shout out to Malik, but that's uh, M O S S S E R A T I. So, there. <laughs> so, and then and then uh, what's it? The uh, the original dot com, right? Yeah. So that's the, uh, the the online shop where you guys can um, shop for the latest stuff that we have up on there. Um, also be updated with all the latest gear that we or the end of releases that we do so yeah gear whether it's gear whether it's collabs whether it's you know all the all the basic you know the news and what's going on with the with the company with the movement Mm -hmm, absolutely um so yeah what's what's like how did it come about i mean what's the inception what's the beginning what's the what's the inspiration behind the beginning of of the movement yeah so actually uh, the original name for us was was Goodstock um, yeah. back in the day, and it was just me. And I started off doing vintage, so vintage clothing and apparel, buying and selling. Um, I made a big eBay store, made a lot of money from it, you know. Um, then from there, you know, a lot of um, trial and error. You know, yeah. I kind of grew out of vintage. I wanted to. Going to you know more into creating your own ideas, streetwear, you know having that come to life. So I was thinking, well, how can I move from that into like streetwear, you know, and not yeah. having to change the name too much? So a lot of trial and error, man, and and, and and a lot of thinking, a lot of a lot of ingenuity, and and finally came up with you know original good stock. I w- I officially, I mean, I originally wanted to change the name into something else because I was so far off from vintage, you know. Wow. But you know, people knew knew me for the name, and so the name had created its own value. Um, and I took a lot. It took a few confirmations for me to understand it, but it it got, got me there to understand it. Yeah. Um, and then got into you know creating the name original good stock, and then also um, finally creating the 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 logo that you guys see. So yeah. yeah. And so what what does what does good stock I, I, that you know the the original name but now original good stock what does good stock what does it mean what does it mean to you what do you what does it represent within the brand well today today og's today is a little different from what we started with but interesting not too far off um you know we we've been rolling with the it's it it, it, it looks like old english but it's not it's actually a different font to kind of mimic it but it's a, it's our own our own style, our own font for it, um, but my whole concept for that is I wanted to brand that style into fashion. You know, you know, I always thought like you know that would be dope to have 
old English, that type of style and, 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 and break that stereotype into fashion and make it look like make it look dope, make it look uh, fashionable fresh, in a sense. Yeah. Make yeah, make make it look fresh, make it um, accepted into the community. Uh-huh. So after understanding that, um, branding and marketing, you know, we're we're initially I want people to feel our customers to feel um, invited, you know, accepted, you know, somewhere okay. where they can be accepted, you know. Yeah. Um, I learned this after being, you know, a consumer myself. Yeah. Um, into buying, buying into brands like Stussy, you know, Ten, ten Deep, um, you know, the bigger brands, and you know, every time I got a chance to go to the trade shows and, and, and caught like the, the latest stuff that they're getting ready to drop, and meeting the people behind it, I felt like damn like i'm a part of this or i was a part of that when i bought that t-shirt before it came out you know that's so with us you know i want our customers to feel invited and accepted even 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 if they're not accepted anywhere else you know yeah yeah so when they cop the latest release or latest drop and i and i and 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 we introduce it to them and they come and pick it up at a pop-up or at a release party whatever the case whatever we're doing you know, I want them to feel like, damn, you know, I was there to get that and be a part of that for that one night or that for that one day. Interesting. You know? Is that part of, that's a perfect actually time to, uh, this is a question I have sure. later down the line, but that's a perfect time to ask about the welcome to, is that part of the welcome to the gang idea? Is that kind of the idea behind that? Yeah, exactly. So with the welcome to the gang stuff, um, that came a little later. Um, but again, it's almost like a subliminal message to where, it's a it's it's dope branding on our part but it also shows that you know everyone who works with us or who who's done work with us you know feel accepted and feel also for the same and 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 they push out that same energy when when they meet customers and they want to you know when they come and see us and come out and buy stuff they feel the same way so you know it's an ongoing domino effect you know yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying of, of, of the culture that we're building yeah absolutely I mean and, and I think it plays into it I mean it makes people feel accepted like you said it's a, it makes people feel accepted regardless of where they've been accepted elsewhere you know that's kind of a cool thing because you know I feel like a lot of streetwear these days there is like you know you sometimes it's less accepting than it should be so it's kind of cool to take it the opposite way in that regard yeah no, absolutely you know? Um, so what is, what's the process like of coming up with like a new idea for the line? Like whether it be, you know, a collaboration or a solo project, what's, what's kind of, I mean, what's kind of the idea? I know you said, uh, this is a place that you guys often come to kick around creative ideas and such. Very true. Very true. Um, it all starts, yeah, it all starts off just coming together, you know, more minds, more minds is the better, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, if if I haven't already had a solid idea in place, or um, you know, checking the drawing board, then we'll all just put together. And um, especially Mark, you know, Mark's, um, you know, my uh, my assistant for the brand, and he helps with the creativity um, so far with the collabs that we've done. And so, you know, yeah, it, I mean, it all takes on just getting together. Um, and 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 looking at inspiration you know inspiration is is a big thing you know just having to look on other if it's instagram you know other it's on online sites um, or even tv any anything that we feel that would fit for the right timing of what we want to do then we'll do it you know yeah so, so that's actually what are what are some of the things that um inspire you as an individual inspire you as a creator and inspire your brand as a whole um what like you said whether it be you know you have like a particular TV show that you throw on or a particular, you know, to, I mean, I know that's probably going to change based on the mood or based on what you're trying to create, of course. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um, you know, well, lately what's, what's, what's been inspiring, what, what I've been inspired by, um, or, or actually, or actually it's funny. It's actually vintage. I've been very inspired by vintage lately. Um, and that's what kind of brought us to doing ha- the, the collaboration with, with the hats that we've came out with, you know? The distress stuff. The distress stuff, yeah. yeah. So um, hats is, hats and, and, and old school throwbacks, snapbacks, teams have always been inspiring for me. Yeah. You know, 
um, and also for everybody else. So when we've done the collabs for the brand, it comes out in a way where it's original. You know, it's like it's not too far off from what we're trying to achieve or trying to do. Yeah. Um, you know, it gives off a different vibe, a different style. Um, and again, it's all original work. It's all original, an original concept, and we're just displaying it in a way where it, now we're doing different cities, which is really cool, you know? Yeah, that's got to be wild mm -hmm. to get to. I mean, you just came back from San Francisco, and then you obviously did the one with Jay from Five and a Dime with the SD one yeah. with the uh, Faithful logo. That was that was pretty insane. That was actually my favorite one, man. I was, man, like... um when he came out, well, when we when when they designed the whole twi uh, twist, the the OGs twist to that, um, it came out perfect. We didn't have no issues on having to change it up or anything like that. It just came out how it did, and just we already knew like, yo, that's it, like that's it, let's do it. Yeah, the OGs one is mean. Yeah, <laughs> big shout out to Five and a Time. And shout out to Jay. Five and a Time. <laughs> Jason Huggins. <laughs> yeah, big Jay. Yeah, always always keeping it fresh. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, I, I think there's something like very special too about. You know, San Diego, there's a lot of collaboration here. You know, some would say it's because we have to, because it's kind of a smaller city. But I think people are also generally, like, so open and willing to collaborate, to share ideas, to share what's worked for them, what hasn't worked for them. Whether it be, like, breweries or people in the clothing company, uh, clothing industry that I've talked to, people are pretty fucking down and... and reasonable in terms of sharing stuff yeah for the most part oh, absolutely i'm sure i'm sure you can find some sticklers here and there <laughs> <laughs> you can you can <laughs> from time to time <laughs> yeah yeah um so i mean the uh the idea of welcome to the gang you know was that was that just like the a, another collaborative effort or was there was there something like was that has that always been like a thought behind it and that's the first time you like encompassed it into a message or well, it actually, it's funny, I created that about a year and a half ago, well, almost two years now, um, and it was actually a throwaway, like you mentioned earlier, well, we had a small talk about this earlier, yeah, but, yeah. but it was actually a throwaway, and, it, and we, were, we were in um, the winter season, so we were, like, October, already going into, like, uh, or after September, going into, you know, going into October, um, and I had, like, a whole black, you know, a, uh, I wanted to come out with a black line you know just everything like like design in black um in a trendy way and i had a whole i mean i had a whole catalog done up too um and we're getting getting ready to outsource a lot of the materials production and all that and 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 and, and just dumping a lot of my a lot of our investments into to create a big line you know a big launch for it then i kind of created this as like <laughs> Uh, a, a break from that because like when you're creating something and not just one item but multiple items in a catalog it's like it, it can get kind of dreading you know yeah I can see that so I kind of needed a break so I went off and, and, and started creating this but as just like a just on a back burner like not yeah. really wanting to put energy into it you almost know? to take a break from the other stuff yeah though. exactly so when I did that um, my brother well, this is when we had our, our office space together. And so my brother came over to my computer and was like, yo, what is that? And, you know, <laughs> he, I explained to him what I was doing. And he was like, you need to run with that. Like that. Really? That, yeah. That right there explains, you know, who you are and, and what the brand is. So I thought about that and, 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 and I, did a, I did a sample piece. Um, it, it wasn't what I'm wearing now. This is, this is what, what it's turned into. A okay. uh, more quality piece, but it was a bigger it was a bigger print, um, and I wore it. I wore it out one time, and people, you know, were just uh, were like, "Yo, is that coming out? What what is that? Is that new? Like, <laughs> what does that mean?" And this is okay. So we're, we're we're nearing around Christmas time now. This is December, and my brother was like, "Dude, just do like twenty and see how they do. Put it out there." So I went ahead and 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 and, and did a did a bulk of twenty, put it out there overnight made over a thousand dollars sold out overnight shout out to all our supporters out there who did buy the first one you know wow and uh, i i i i can remember i showed my brother i was like yo check out you know check out our our online orders he was like i told you so you know and i was just like wow okay so <laughs> it made sense from there and, and and you know what like from from that point to to now it reflects me as a person because, you know, back, you know, growing up, and I know this is kind of off topic a little bit, but 
growing up, I, you know, it was really hard for me to be accepted from from anything, you know, from 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 everything. So I thought to myself, what what way can I be accepted? I guess I gotta make I gotta make a way for me to be accepted, right? So, you know, I created this. I created the brand, and so when I created it, you know, everybody started to come around, and you know, I started bringing people in and telling people what I'm doing, sharing people what I'm doing, and it, and it got around, you know. Yeah. So, going back to <clears throat> now with the Welcome to the Gang stuff, you know, that's where it comes off, you know. And so that's when I so explain cool. to people. When I explain to people that, it's like, yo, like, you know, we, we, we accept any walks of life, you know? Yep. And so, like, what we're doing in the culture and the people that we bring along um, and, and get involved with, you know? Yeah. So, that's that's where the story behind this um, beautiful. This is, so. Hey, can you pass yeah. the GoPro? My bad, real quick. I'm going to do it from this angle, too. No, it's so all good. A <laughs> little break. We'll take a five-minute intermission here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean that's no, that's that's awesome. I feel like that's that's a super powerful thing. I mean, it's just like that kind of shows in in your personality and in the message on the clothing. Uh, it's just like it's about like you know people finding you know uh, finding finding their little gang, like finding like an acceptance, finding. I mean, and also looking fresh at the same time. Yeah. Not to mention, so absolutely, <laughs> it's kind of a win-win. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Cool. My bad. Um, <laughs> it's a learning process, man. So, yeah, no, what we were saying before to tie into that, though, is it is funny how, like, you'll come up with something that you think is going to be huge. It doesn't take off. Vice versa, you come up with something and you think it's not going to be big and it takes off. Or you come up with something that you didn't even want to use and your brother suggests it and then it takes off. It just goes <laughs> yeah. to show that, like, that, like, feedback is very key. Keeping an open mind is super key. And also not raising your expectations. Like, when you're a creator... If you set up your expectations to like be like, oh, dude, this one's going to blow up. If it doesn't, man, I'm fucked. Like nothing else is going to go right. Like setting yourself up for that is not a good idea. No. Whereas if you're like, okay, man, I'm just going to run with this. You know, I'll put out 20 like you did. And, you know, I've seen people mess with it. You know, see if people like the, the message and people like the message. And that has to be really cool. Yeah. No, it was it was definitely it was definitely experience. And it definitely set the tone for you know the, the the new year that brought us into doing more you know um yeah. not not just with the welcome to the gang stuff and 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 shining some light on that but you know inspired us to do more you know way more you know so yeah wow. super motivating um so uh yeah so like how for anyone who doesn't uh, out there who doesn't know we'll put some pictures of the distress hats on how the heck do you guys accomplish that look like, is that something you can tell us about? Is that patent pending? Is, that a little, is there a secret behind that? Man, it's a ninja to... secret, bro. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> it's a ninja stick secret. No, but, uh, um, no, man, you know what? I get that. I, that's a frequently asked question, yeah. right, for sure. Like, we get that asked a lot. I can imagine. Um, all hats are done all, well, with that design. You know, all hats are done um, by me, by hand. Um, and... One thing I can say, and I'll put <laughs> it out there, you know, I don't want to reveal too much of that because we, we do get a ton of people who ask. I'm sure. But one thing I can say is that when I do them, um, I have, like, a several knife set <laughs> when I do them. Um, different type of blades and different um, sharpness of the blades that won't rip through. I see. Because thread, thread can easily rip if you uh, – if an average person – and I've seen this happen. Uh, I've had like people, you know, try to do what I do, and I'll sit and watch, because they'll ask, and I'll say, "Well, let's see if you could do it with a regular knife, or or, or whatever you want to use," and they'll just easily tear through like the threading. And so, one thing I can say again is like it's like several different little knife sets that I use, and each one ac- accomplishes what I need to do. Um, and it, it, it brings it out as an art form so it doesn't rip through completely hmm. but it's all purposeful rip so it kind of creates a, a whole dripping effect from the logo yeah so that's that's what that's why that's that's my uh, original concept is is having to deface the logo just a little bit yeah enough to make it 3d from far from far away and when you come up close, you're like, okay, dope. I see what he's doing there, you know? Yeah. Does each specific little one come out a little bit differently? Yeah. That's got to be kind of cool. So no matter what, even if you're getting 
you know, one of, you know, 20, you're still getting one of one. Yeah. And so that's kind initially. of, that's what I've felt like is a really dope concept about that. So, hey, you heard it here f- first, folks. He, I, I feel like you're like above the hat, like with like a lock pick set, like <laughs> <laughs> just going trying away. To, trying, to, trying to unlock, trying to unlock the secrets. Unlock the secrets. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now that's super cool. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of taking the art to a different level. I feel like that's wh- how you were saying, you know. Um, you know, when you model a business or when you model an idea off of another idea that's been successful, you know, you want to have something new to it, something unique that's your own. And you've taken mm-hmm. something like, you know, like you said, quote unquote, defacing a hat, and but you're turning it into art and you've taken it your own way on a whole nother level with that. So that's mm-hmm. pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah that's, Thank you. It's special. <laughs> yeah. Super special. Yeah. So <laughs> is that something too where it's like, that's that's such a great thing to really like be able to not only collab with like artists within San Diego but like that's a great way to collab with artists in different cities. Absolutely. I that was always my dream like with the brand is to kind of travel and get the brand out there, you know? Yeah. Um I never knew how fast I was going to come, but yeah. um to to have to speed up to where we're at now, it's like damn like you know, we, we you know we we we're consistent with the with the concept. Yeah. And we can say we've done two cities, and you know we want to continue to tackle, you know, the rest. So Dude, I'm telling you, do some do some like at the Yomiuri Giants out in Tokyo. Do a Yomiuri I Giants love one. Oh yeah. And I love then do you. like do like some do like some soccer ones like out in Europe. Oh yeah. Man, that would be insane. Them, like, the, the, and their logos out there overseas are or or, or or pretty cool to, to to mess with too. You know. They have some cool ones because like I have this one. I have this one Adidas one. It's a Liverpool hat and it has their emblem right here, and then down the bill of the hat it has three stripes. Oh, that's pretty super dope. cool. Like it's just oh, like shit. super <laughs> unique stuff. Like with a dad hat that you know you wouldn't have seen really necessarily. So like maybe in a different way you could like. To face those, the face, <laughs> the face, the heck out of them. Oh yeah, exactly. No, it's like a respectful to face, though. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, Jay said something super interesting that I wanted to ask you. Sure. He said, "There's a catch twenty two of being a brand's because, like, in the end of the day, yeah, you're a streetwear brand emphasizing in clothing, but you're it's more than that. I mean, you're what you are as a brand and cool, right? You're like representing kind of what's cool, like a vibe that's cool." But there's a catch-22 behind that. So, like, staying cool versus making money is a tough line to draw, right? So, because, you know, you don't want to necessarily, like, let's say you got an offer to, you know, sell out and be in Target. You know, is that necessarily selling out? Are you not cool then? So how do you walk that line? Is it a personal thing that you feel like, like, you know, let's say there's an example that, here's an example. You, You run something that you didn't necessarily like personally, but it's super successful. You don't feel like it's very representative of the brand and you don't want to keep going with it, but some marketing agency comes in and says, oh man, you got to go with this. This is that, 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 that. And he wants to, how hard is that line to walk of saying no to that versus staying true to your vision? Well, I feel like lately, or actually not lately, it's always, it's always stuck with me ever since I've, I've been in this, in this, in this industry. Um, if I feel like it's not me mm-hmm. or it's the energy's not right, I just won't do it. You know, um, I've, I, I know, uh, Ronnie from Kith, um, the brand Kith. I know he's been interviewed and he's been, he, you know, he's, he's, he's mentioned that if he, if he feels like it's not fun for him, you know, he won't do it. Yeah. You know, he just won't do it or he'll stop doing it. You know, because he does his motive behind it is that, you know, he 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 does things because it's fun for him. You know, yeah. And he wants to keep going if it continues that if it continues that way. So with me, it's like you'll feel like you're a sellout. You know, like if you <laughs> if you took a path if you took a path and 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 you know for a fact like, damn, you know what? This is wasn't right. This wasn't I'm right. Corny. I'm corny. I'm corny. I'm corny as I'm hella corny now. Yeah. Like you know, then then you you know what you did. If you know, <laughs> yeah. If you caught yourself, you know, and you were like, you know what, yeah, it's, this wasn't right. Then that's what it is. And I, you know, I take that same vibe, that same mentality for it. You know, yeah. Everyone can have their spin off and their and their and, and their and their opinions about it, and you'll get that with everything. But again, at the end of the day, if he, if you felt like that was right. 
then that was right for you. You know, yeah. if you felt like it wasn't a, like a, a slight feeling of that, then that that should be the <laughs> answer. <laughs> In your heart of heart, yeah, exactly. If you're smart enough to have started something, you're probably smart enough to understand. Like in your heart of hearts, know if it's corny. Yeah. Know if you're following your vision. Yeah, exactly. But Jay, you know, quoting Jay there. Jay, you know, Jay does have a point. Like that was a good. That's a good argument of having to to realize. Okay, well, drawing the line between having to go with the trends, putting out something that 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 was successful, but was it a good decision or not? You know, those are battles that I personally go through oh, yeah. year in year out with this brand. You know, yeah. so and that, that just comes along with the territory. Of course, yeah. I can I can only imagine. I mean, I'm sure. You know, even you know, like down the line maybe someone will say i want an interview that i will feel a certain way about and i might have to take it for whatever and you know who, who knows no 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 i'm just kidding i'm just kidding we'd love to interview everyone yes sir <laughs> but um so you know along the way i guess in this day and age you know like we see so much access to whether it's squarespace instagram uh, you know, just all this stuff. I think that makes the bar of entry easier. So, like, more people can get involved. But I think it's easier, in a sense, to kind of call out or to kind of realize what's real and what's fake. Would you agree with that? I would agree. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. I, I think so. I mean, ultimately, I, I think Instagram, it can be used for so much good like I've met so many cool people via Instagram I mean we originally met on Instagram so it's very true shout out, shout out to the DMs yeah shout out to the, <laughs> shout out to the DM exactly um, I, yeah so uh, what's I, I definitely want to ask this uh, what's what's coming in the uh, Can is there anything uh, you can drop here of what what you guys got coming up uh, any collabs any trips any any uh, any expos you're going to be at um yeah i can say uh we're getting ready to drop another another release with assembly hall from san francisco sick um so get ready for that um we have a few others in the works um i would say um oh shout out to jay you know we do want to work on another collab together yeah, how fun! I, I definitely want to ask about that. How fun was sure. that five and di- five and a dime collab? Man, I'm telling you, it, it it was it was dope. It was dope and it was fun. You know, I, I enjoyed you know all the collabs that we've done so far. You know, we've done a total of uh, of three releases. Wow. Um, and it all sprouted for with one. You know, we've, it you know, it was funny. Uh, me and Jay, you know, at the time. We knew we wanted to do something together. We just didn't know what it was and w- when the timing was right. Uh-huh. Um, but it was so funny. I came to Jay one day, uh, one night, you know, and t- told him, "Hey, Jay, I got I got this dope I-, I got this dope idea." Uh, he was in his computer chair. He was like, "Yeah, what is that? I think I'm thinking the same thing." So I told him about it. He was like, "Yep, let's do it." You know, he was thinking <laughs> the exact same thing. I'm like, "Wow, bro, that's that's a first for me." <laughs> like, 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 you know, having like the same idea and the same concept, and we have never spoken to each other about, you know. That's crazy. So it kind of came about, and that's what you guys saw um, with the the five D distressed hat, you know, yeah. and, it, and it went really very well. Shout out to all the supporters who did get one. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to keep one one of those. Wow. Yeah, it's, they just all went out. So hopefully we restock on them soon and, you know, and I get a chance to keep one. <laughs> man, man, that's sick. How, how many, I mean, how many cool people have you gotten to meet through this process, whether it's like fans of the products, just fans of the movement or collabs, just, you know, how, how, how fun has that been? Man, it's been it's it's been un- unreal. It's been it's been surreal. Uh, man, it, I've I've met people of all ages, of all walks of life. You know, people I would have never thought I'd come and meet. Uh, most of the time, you know, I'll, I'll meet people on the street uh, or on a pop up. Either it's our pop up or someone else's pop up. Yeah. You know, if I'm, I'm if I'm happen to stroll by, you know, they'll recognize me and tell me, oh, you know, if they bought a hat or a t-shirt or if they bought a hoodie from from us from the past you know they mentioned to us yeah i still got it like i bought it about a year ago or i bought it about a year and a half ago 
Um, I'm ready to buy the new one, or I'm ready to buy the you know the next thing that you guys put out. Um, so it opens my eyes, man. You know, you know what? Without without having uh, the support that we do, you know, and 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 that's and that's what I'm all about. Just just having to support, you know, our fans and our supporters as much as as, as they do with us. You know, yeah. we, you know, I I, I hold myself as, as fully responsible to make sure everyone's happy. You know, make sure everyone's cool. You know, make sure everyone gets you know gets their product and 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 and. and you know, if we if we happen to have any anything extra, we'll put some aside. You know, we do our best to accommodate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I mean, that's definitely key because I mean, like you said, the design aspect of it is so cool. The creative aspect of it is so cool. But then there's the business aspect. There's the respect aspect of getting back to people. You know, hey, oh, you know, like, what's uh, do your guys stuff run big or small? You want to be able to get back to people. Oh. You know, how do I wash it properly? You want to be able to get back to me. We want to pay bills. You want to be able to pay vendors, you know, all this stuff. And so there's a whole back end that sometimes people who just want to get into the creative business don't really see, I think. Um, you true, know, we, we were talking a bit before about it. Uh, you know, everyone, everyone says they want to, you know, kind of do something, you know, out of the box or be a creator. But the actual work ethic and the stuff that goes behind it, you know, is the stuff that you don't necessarily see. I mean, I'm sure you're up, you know, filling orders, you know, late nights, you know, sending out packing receipts and stuff, you know, uh, sourcing materials, you know, when everyone just probably thinks, oh, he's just sitting around drawing, you know, welcome to the gang, and then it gets pushed onto a t-shirt, and then it's just ready to go out. It's like, no, it's much more than that. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a lot behind the scenes, so, you know. And I take pride in, in everything. Yeah, how important is the, just from someone who has no clue about that, and maybe for listeners who have no clue about that, how important and how interesting is the process of sourcing material? Very important because, one, you know, you find the right supplier, you find the right source, it can, it can actually, you know, get you to the right price margin. Um, ah. And or great product as well you know i mean we get a lot of as a brand owner you know we mix around with other brand owners uh on leads to better clothing or better pricing you know which is great that's kind of like the politics behind it <laughs> um you know you gotta go through some gatekeepers but interesting um but you find your own source man that's your business you know that's a part of the business you know wow um, you find the right people behind it, and you and, and, you, and pretty much the plugs. You find the right plugs to get your clothing or get the right clothing for you guys, and you go for it. You go out, you go after it. You know that's your ammo. That's your that's your inventory. Yeah. You know, essentially. So, you know, and you keep getting better at that. That's all part of the business. You know, um, so it's very important. Very 100. percent 100. percent Like you said, it's your ammo. I never thought of it like that. I mean, because you know, you're kind of the gunpowder, right? You know, your creativity is the gunpowder. That's the ammunition, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, Absolutely. So without the proper ammunition, gunpowder can only go so far. Exactly. Is that, I don't know if you ever. I don't know if you're a fan of like Fast and the Furious. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. come on, dude. I, <laughs> even people who aren't fans of the Fast and the Furious, it's yeah. their guilty pleasure. You know, <laughs> I, I don't care. Man, I, I, I just want to uh, shine some, some shine, a highlight, a saying that was from Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. When uh, the uncle caught the nephew slipping, and they were stealing, or Han was stealing money from them, and he was saying, <laughs> <laughs> he was saying, um, "Damn, it's a long line, but I might be, I might, I might not get it right, but I'm gonna try." So, um, I remember he was saying something about, you know, if the message wasn't delivered because the steed wasn't there. <laughs> and then you know, the the steed didn't you know didn't get to the army in time, and so therefore the army or the war was lost. Yep. You know what I mean? So tying back to what I'm saying is that you do things the correct way or the best way possible without having to cut corners. Then the end result will always be what you want it to be or close enough to it. You know, but when you cut corners. Uh, and you think, hey, you know, well, here it is, you know, then the end result of what you want it to be won't be, you know, won't be complete. 
and people will see that and yeah. people and that's it's, it's very obvious I, yeah, if you cut corners how could you expect the end result to be what you want it to be exactly yeah. and, and, and on top of that you're gonna get comfortable cutting corners and so what happens when you get comfortable cutting corners is your business starts to deteriorate or de- I'm sorry let me use another word <laughs> let me use another <laughs> word in that your, your business will crumble <laughs> your business will crumble and um, and a lot, of, a lot of people get into get into denial when they're at that stage in their business you know what I mean like you know they're just like oh well shit I did everything I could you know or you know shit oh well you know it's not the right attitude you know and so it's a lot that goes behind it but overall you know doing things the correct way yeah will get you very far in life with anything you know yeah I totally agree I totally agree that no that's a really good point I mean that's that was a that's a deep cut right there and it all stems from like you said having the right ammunition having the right materials sourcing it right doing business with the right people um, so mm. I, I got a couple more got a couple more um, Shoot definitely em. wanted to ask you um, we talked a bit about this but uh, Talk about your influence of, uh, you know, being born and raised uh, Southeast San Diego. Yeah, heck yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I mean, I, you know, I like to share from time to time. Um, my pops was an ex game banger. And, wow. um, you know, having to move away from where we initially grew up in, I mean, well, we grew up uh, like close to Mira Mesa. Um, and then moved down south, you know, uh, when I was in third grade. So from that, moving away from that and, and getting to so- into the southeast, um, I was automatically put in the circle of friends that were, you know, also involved in all that. Mm-hmm. You know, I was heavily influenced um, by, you know, Riff Raff and, you know, uh, um, having to be having you know having to be tough, having having to be uh, um, ignorant, um, mm-hmm. violence. Uh, also, the good part the good part should probably be you know I was influenced in the skating. I was yeah. actually I was <laughs> man you know <laughs> the upside of this or the or the happier side of this. Um, luckily, I had a big group of skater friends you know. Yeah. So you know, I would skate day in and day out That's sick. A, lot, a lot a lot of people back in the day were like sports football basketball then there were skaters you know yeah. so you either you, you were either picking either or um so skating was a big influence in my life back in the day yeah um i, I would say this i i would say skating and gangbanging was like <laughs> the shit like <laughs> wow. skating and gangbanging was the shit for us so um I would say the two were the two were like us, you know. Yeah. Uh, would you say there's still some of that like skating and gangbanging influence within uh, Goodstock? Um, I would say overall in a positive way, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. With us, it's like you know, although we do have uh, wording or phrases like gang and stuff like that yeah. that we use from time to time, not just on clothing but on our social media. But uh-huh. at the same time, we don't rep colors, you know. We, you know, we don't, you know, we don't resort to violence, you know, it's we want to like the camaraderie, like kind of like the brotherhood. Exactly. That it, the positives. I mean, cause exactly. there, are, there are positives to gang life. I mean, whether, it, whether we want to acknowledge them or I mean, the brotherhood that it provides where there's not necessarily that structure in other places. That's definitely an interesting positive to that. So exactly. And it all ties back in with, you know having to be accepted you know in, in, in some shape or form either if it's not a brand um, or, or people you know yeah. so with us it's like uh, you know we're good at what we do and we want to be able to, to also be an open arm you know uh, to individuals uh, young or old uh, who are looking to be part of some you know yep. some, some that's that, that won't let them down you know what I mean so um I can say, yeah, in a positive way. It yeah, influences yeah. in a positive way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, precisely, peop- I mean, do people ask me, like, oh, Mike, like, what's the podcast about? I'm be like, dude, the podcast is about, like, reaching as many people, inspiring people. If this reaches one person and gets them to follow their passion, pursue their passion, then, hey, it's worked. Exactly. So, um, that's awesome. So, yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of influence that is uh, from Southeast and, and from San Diego that is stuck around in the brand today, and that's really awesome because San Diego is such a beautiful place, such a oh, okay. such an interesting place because it has that, like, 
you know the SoCal vibe without being super busy like LA. It has the it, but it has mm. the resources of a big city. Yeah, I mean, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, and it's getting and it's growing. You know, oh, yeah. I, you know, um, seeing seeing different parts grow too, not just downtown. You know, like Barrio Logan. You yep. know, uh, Barrio Logan all the way up to Liberty Station. You know. Yeah, like, a brewery just opened in Barrio Logan called like Attitude. I think I've heard it's pretty decent. Attitude, ah, oh, cool. Attitude Brewing. Yeah, you want to check that out? That's new to me. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think it. I'll show That's you cool. the address after. Yeah, well, I I was trying I to, to score get that. an interview with those guys. <laughs> You'll <laughs> so, get them. Yeah, that'd be a fun <laughs> one. That'd be a fun one. Um, so yeah, dude, this has been. I mean, we've been going for. Let's see, we've been going the, a hot forty-five in total. Um, okay. So I definitely want to give you the opportunity to uh, any shout outs you want to give, um, you know, like any, any shout outs to anyone, everyone, obviously, you know, shout out to brand again, dude. Uh, yes, sir. You know, big plug. Yeah. Sammy, <laughs> Sammy Sosa, you know, Mark McGuire. Nah. <laughs> uh, the big, great Bambino. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I would say, yeah, man, you know, shout out to, you know, everyone who works with the brand. Original good stock, you know. Shout out to um, Mike Garnica. Shout out to uh, Malik Burgers. Shout out to Mark Nazol. You know, if you guys, I'm gonna do a quick little 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 uh, sub little message. Mark Nazol just dropped a single called "Save Me." He does music. Love the love the kid to death. Check him out. It's done great. You know. Save me. You shout shout out to my my new homie Allen. <laughs> All the way out there from Virginia. Um, you know, and sh- you know, shout out to Jay from Five and a Dime. Absolutely. You know, uh, Jay Jay's Old Testament man. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh, I'm yeah. gonna dive into that real quick. <laughs> Jay is Old Testament, you know, and and to be honest, like, like I grew up. You know, he's I, I can say he's he's placed an inspirational, uh, an inspirational seed. Yeah, seed into. What, what I've created with the brand today you know I mean he, he would be placed on my top three or f- top five you know because wow. um, his his store was actually one of the stores like or one of the f- I think one of the first stores actually that I stepped into um, introduced into streetwear you know like, and, and, and what streetwear was and what it was about locally not just locally uh, but what was happening everywhere else because he his store I know it's a little off subject but um, his store was holding you know brands like Ten deep, the Crux. the hundreds, crooks and castles, you know, all that, all those brands I still wear, you know. So yeah, it's and they like, had like the exclusive SD deal he was saying. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. And now they got the uh, the the, uh, the good stuff cookie co. Oh Darcy. man, yeah. shout out to Darcy, shout out to the good stuff cookie co. Dude, he gave man. me a jar, the the sorted jar. The only thing that effed me up was he gave me the assorted jar, so I only had one of each ones. Uh, that made me. I was like, <laughs> dude, I need one of every. Oh my god, I'm gonna. I gotta go back. Yeah, they get more than a dozen. Dude, <laughs> I gotta get a dozen of each one. Those <laughs> things are like crack. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Hell yeah. Those things are like crack. Uh, those yeah, things are good, man. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. So yeah, big yes, shout sir. out to Five and a Dime. Obviously, big shout out to Jay. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, and then, uh, dude, the the one question we always like to ask to tie it in is, anyone out there, you know, just like. I would love for uh, you to just drop some advice on like whether it's just do it. Big shout out to Nike. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Nike sponsor. <laughs> whether it's whether it's just do it or you know whether it's like a specific piece of advice just for anyone out there who's hesitating on going for turning their passion into a paycheck, passion into profession. Any jump start, any kick in the ass that you kind of want to give them. I would say. If it makes you scared, if it makes you think twice, if it makes you doubtful of yourself, just do it, you know, go for it. And why is that? Because we're, we're in a world where we're so comfortable in what we're doing. We're comfortable in rituals, you know, we're comfortable in the day-to-day things that we do. We're comfortable in a nine-to-five, you know. The 401k, if, the dental. <laughs> exactly. If your life consists of just... You know, usual rituals, you know, usual, um, your usual schedule and you haven't done anything exciting or, you know, gone after a passion or started a building, you know, that's what, that's what makes us different. That's what makes us also human besides the things that we've done, you know, you know, I've gone through so much adversity, you know, so much challenges, you know, but 
it makes me happy in the end to know that, damn, you know, me, myself, just by myself can overcome all these things, all those things. Dude, I can, man, I can, I can do more, you know? Yep. And so with having to break free from things that I thought I would never accomplish in life, you know, I was able to get to, you know, it takes, of course, it takes a lot of ingenuity, uh, you know, it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of commitment. It takes a lot of passion you know but those are things you need to find for yourself if that's something that you want to get into um and so and and again if it makes you scared doubtful uh makes you think twice you know that's something you should do you should go after probably means it's important to you exactly about that's what i've been told i mean if you're not scared about something it probably doesn't mean jack squat to you (laughs) exactly (laughs) these little things man in life uh that you gotta pay attention to you know Uh, not just pay, you know, not just paying attention to your bank account, but excuse me, paying attention to um, the signs and the takeaways that life that life gives you. Um, you know, I know not everybody is a uh, is a believer, but you know, sometimes mostly it's you know it's God. It's God showing you a way. Uh-huh. You know, oh, you know, and 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 He throws you signs. He throws you takeaways. You know. So, whatever it is that, that moves everybody, either it is God or either it's, it's good vibes, good energy, you know, uh, being a better person, personal development, whatever it is, you know, just understand that and run with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Take the ball and run with it. Do, you know, do, do the most because the world is yours um, and you can do anything you want to do. You know, you can be anybody who you want to be. You know? I totally agree. So go after it. That's some powerful <laughs> stuff. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, hey, I mean, I guess, you know, hey, la- one last time, tell everyone where they can find you. Cool. Yeah. You guys can find us on Instagram. Um, original Good Stock. Just how I'm saying it. One word. It's the black and white logo. Can't miss it. Uh, my personal Instagram is Maserati, and that's M-O-S-S-S-E-R-A-T-I. Um, you can shop with us at originalgoodstock.com, um, and you can find all the updates and releases and collabs that we drop. Um, you know, shout out to San Diego and everybody who supports us. Um, shout out to San Francisco, LA, um, Washington, Arizona, um, and everyone else that I did miss. But you know, we love everybody. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, we got nothing but love. <laughs> Yes, hey, and and uh, we appreciate you so much tuning into another episode of the Oddcast, where we talk about people turning their passion into profession and subsequently their passion into paychecks. My guy Moss, you've been a great guest. Original good stock. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, thank you so uh, much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Shout outs to you and yours. Much love. Thank you very kindly. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Oh, chicken grease without the beef. Let's go. Uh. Let's get a little weird. Let's get a little odd. Those sounds you like to hear. We got it going on. It's the odd cast. It's the odd cast. It's the odd cast. It's the odd cast. cast.